four candidates for president will be on the ballot throughout the country. But only one, libertarian Ed Clark, offers this unique common sense approach to the issues. Ed Clark supports major tax and spending cuts and an end to American intervention in the internal affairs of other countries. Jimmy Carter offers a $90 billion tax increase and continued foreign intervention. John Anderson offers a somewhat more moderate foreign policy, but specifically opposes a general tax or spending cut at home. Ronald Reagan offers a possibility of small tax cuts, but an actual increase in American intervention abroad. Americans deserve a better alternative. Most Americans believe the choice among Carter, Anderson, and Reagan isn't much of a choice, and they're right. The real choice in this election isn't between Republicans and Democrats or between two liberals and a conservative. The real choice is between the politics of the past and a whole new approach to the issues, the libertarian approach. The politics of the past haven't solved our problems. In fact, they've created most of them. Inflation, taxes, spending, the threat of war, big government. We need new solutions, not more of the same. I think it's time for a new beginning. Right now, government taxes in one form or another are taking 44% of our income every year. That's a crushing burden on every American, especially the poor, and it's led to economic stagnation. But by cutting both taxes and spending drastically and immediately, we can achieve the kind of prosperity America should have. We can restore economic growth, which will provide jobs and opportunity for all Americans. Therefore, I'm proposing the biggest tax cut in America's history. To end inflation, we must end government deficits. We should balance the budget and balance it at lower levels. We can do this by cutting taxes and spending. You see, the government creates this deficit and then creates new money out of thin air to pay for it. And this makes the money we have worth less. I'll abolish the hidden tax of inflation at its source, the printing presses of the U.S. Treasury. The American people don't approve of our current foreign policy. They don't want to intervene in the affairs of other countries. They don't want to try to be policemen for the world. And our current international policy is terribly expensive. It adds a dreadful burden to the U.S. economy. And it's dangerous, constantly running the risk of confrontation and war. We need a policy of peace, non-intervention, then the expansion of trade and friendship with all nations. I want to redirect the military objectives of the United States toward a stronger defense of this country. But we should not subsidize the rich industrial societies of Western Europe and Japan. They're perfectly capable of defending themselves. Why should the American taxpayer be forced to shoulder that burden? With a more sensible policy, we can actually cut military spending while improving our national security. There's a new consensus growing in America that cuts across traditional political lines. That consensus wants a prosperous America, an America with low taxes and a balanced budget, an America that rejects the role of trying to be the world's policeman. It's time we left the old politics. It's time we reaffirmed our commitment to low taxes, small government, and a non-interventionist foreign policy. It's time for a new beginning. November 4th, millions of Americans will vote for a new beginning. Join them in supporting Ed Clark for president, the libertarian alternative. <laughs>